All right, guys, welcome to yet another lesson for math class. Today we are going to talk about multiplying integers. Okay, now, uh, up until this point, we've been doing adding and subtracting. And so to review our adding rules, to add the same sign, add like normal and keep the sign, such as if we have like negative 2 plus negative 4, they have the same sign, so we add them like normal and keep the sign. Um, when we're adding different signs, you find the difference. And keep the sign. There's more of that. There's more of. It's probably not proper English, but this is math class. So there you go. And to practice that, we could have negative 7 plus 3. They have different signs, so the difference is 4. And we have more negatives, so it's negative 4. And then what we learned yesterday, subtracting, we rewrite as adding the additive inverse, or you can say we rewrite as adding the opposite sign. So we could have 7 minus 9 is the same thing as 7 plus negative 9 if we want to and call that winky face. Or we could have 6 minus negative 4 and there's our squinty face. So that turns into 6 plus 4. That's 10 up here. That's negative 2. All right. Now. Switching to multiplication and division, just like with fractions, the rules are totally different for multiplication and division than they are for addition. So don't get them confused. Those go in one box, and the rules for multiplying and dividing go in a totally separate box. Okay? Whole new game. So the rules for multiplying, I'm just going to write out... Okay, there's four possible combinations. So if we have a positive times a positive, then I mean this is our normal multiplication, so that gives us a positive. Okay, we've got a negative times a negative also gives us a positive. Okay, so notice this is different than up there. Different, totally different rules. Okay, so if they match in signs, then they end up being positive. If they have one of each, so if we have a negative times a positive, the answer is negative. And if we have a positive times a negative, the answer is negative. Okay, so now there's actually just a general rule to help you know, or if you have like a lot of numbers you're multiplying together, um, the general rule okay, if there's an even number of 
negatives, so even numbers like 2, 4, 6, 8, then the answer is going to be positive. If there's an odd number of negatives, then the answer is negative. Okay, so we can have a whole long string of numbers multiplied together, and you just have to count up how many negatives there are being multiplied together, and there you have it. Um, so a couple of things, just as we're getting into multiplying here. Um, oh, I did some examples. <laughs> we can do some examples of up here, and let me um, explain. Now that we're in algebra, we probably aren't going to use the x for a times sign anymore because we use x as a variable now that we do algebra. So multiplying, you will see, will either be a dot or um, if you have parentheses right next to each other and no, like adding or subtracting in between, that also means multiply. And then when we get into algebra, uh, if you have letters right next to each other, that means multiply as well, okay? So a positive times a positive, that's like two times four, which is eight. Positive times positive is positive, okay? Or we can have negative three times negative four. Now notice, don't get confused and think we're subtracting. Right now, because this number, and the first one again doesn't usually have to go in parentheses, we could do that if we wanted to, but because the parentheses right here are next to each other, means multiplying, okay? So negative times negative, three times four is 12, and negative times negative is positive, okay? So those are two different ways we can write multiplication. Um, a negative times a positive, so we could have like negative two times five. So again, the number on the outside, if, as long as it's right next to the parenthesis and there isn't an add or subtract in between them, it means multiply. So 2 times 5 is 10 with the negative, okay? And then we could have a positive times the negative, which could be like 3 times negative 9, okay? And again, the negative is attached to the 9. It's not a subtract. The operation we're doing right now is multiplying. We have one negative, so it's going to be negative, and 3 times 9 is 27, um, one little thing that might help you with the negative times the negative, sometimes I like to think of it this way, so if we have a negative times a negative, you have enough, oh, they come together and make a positive. It's math romance, guys, right there. Negative times a negative is a positive, and when you have an odd number of negatives, when there's only one, there's nobody to complete it. Oh, sad. See, when you're in the class, this usually when people make faces at me and be like, come on, Sanford, and then other people are like, oh. Oh, that's so sweet. Um, <laughs> it's been a long day. Here we go. Um, but that's one of the ways I, re try, I like to use to help to remember a negative times a negative is positive. And then if we only have one negative, he's all by himself. All by himself. You're welcome. Okay. Um, let's do some practice problems just to make sure you're feeling okay about this. And then I will be done talking. All right, so practice problem number one, three times negative five. Okay, first of all, this is multiply. Second of all, there's only one negative, which means the answer is going to be negative. Three times five is 15. Number two, negative six times eight. So again, we only have one negative, so the answer is going to be negative, and six times eight is 48. Next up, negative 10 times negative 8. So we've got negative times negative. Oh, so that's positive and 8 times 10 is 80. Now if you want to see why a negative times a negative is a positive like on the hot air balloon, uh, examples, we could do that. I might make a separate video for that if anybody requests to have it. Otherwise, just trust me, okay? I promise I'm not leading you astray. But I worry that explaining it might confuse more people than it will help. So, 
Um, next, we're going to have 2 times 7. Positive times positive is positive, and that's 14. Next up, negative 11 times negative 9. Negative times a negative oh, is positive, and 9 times 11 is 99. Number 6. All right, now here's an interesting one. Um, and it, on the book assignment and on the math space, there are a problem or two that are like this. So it looks like this, negative 4 to the third power. Okay, that third power means how many times you're multiplying this number to itself. Okay, you can have squareds, you can have this is cubed, you can have to the fourth, to the fifth, you can go up to infinity with exponents and in fact when you get later on into algebra you can have variables in the exponent but for now this is what we have so to the third means this is negative four times negative four times negative four okay it's this number multiplied to itself three times see that okay and from here i'm going to do the negatives first this negative and this negative come together oh but then we're left with one by itself. There's it's three negatives, so it's an odd number, so the answer is going to be negative. And then 4 times 4 is 16. 16 times 4 is 64. Okay? Um, so there, I don't think there's too much long multiplication you'll have to do. As soon as we finish this chapter, you get to use calculators, and then it won't be as much of an issue. Okay? Number seven, just again practice having multiple, more than two numbers multiplied together. We can have negative three times negative four times negative two. So again, how many negatives do we have? We've got three. That's an odd number, which means our answer is going to be negative. Three times four is 12. 12 times two is 24. All right, now here's... <laughs> here's an interesting one the numbers aren't going to be hard this is all about figuring out if it, the answer is going to be positive or negative do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Mm -hmm. I don't know even where we are we'll add in another one of those okay so we've got how many negatives do we have going on here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so seven is an odd number. That means the answer, because one times one times one times one times one times one is always just going to give us one. We just needed to know if it was positive or negative. And there you go. Kind of silly. Now, Um, on, for the story problems, if you guys want any help with the story problems, um, the, you know, just let me know. I will help. I think you'll get it, though. You just have to decide whether some of the numbers you're multiplying together are positive or negative. So you have to pick the integer first and then do your multiplication, and I think that you will be good. Okay? Um, so here we go. Multiplying integers. Multiplying integers. 